a month before our 12th anniversary, my husband and I had our fourth child, Ellie, in November of 2008. And she was perfect and normal, and we were a normal family, busy with four kids who were five and under. But by the time Ellie was three months old, we knew that something was wrong. And the doctors did some tests, and she was admitted to Children's Hospital in Oklahoma City. And it was just kind of a blur of tests and figuring out what was wrong with our baby. And she was diagnosed with biliary atresia. Uh, it's a liver disease that destroys her bile ducts and damages her liver. And the doctors said that she would need a liver transplant to survive. We traveled with her to Omaha, Nebraska to a transplant center where they evaluated her. She underwent a week of tests and labs and on March 18th she was put on the national transplant list and we waited for a liver. We came home with Ellie and just prayed and waited and you know hoped for a phone call and watched as she got sicker and sicker and all we knew to do was pray. We prayed for a miracle, we prayed for her to be healed, we prayed for a phone call, and sometimes I knew that my prayer not, might not be answered here, that she might be perfect in heaven. Lots of people prayed and that's all that we could do was just pray and wait, and the phone call never came. Ellie was on the transplant list for about two months without receiving a call that they had found a donor. The doctors felt like they needed to see her again because her condition was getting worse. So two days after Mother's Day, my husband and I kissed our other three kids goodbye, left them with the family, and took Ellie back to Omaha. And I knew in my heart when we left that we weren't coming home until this had come to some sort of conclusion for Ellie. As soon as the doctors saw her, they admitted her to the hospital. While we were there, I was evaluated as a possible donor candidate for Ellie. I was rushed through three days worth of tests and I was approved as her match. So on May 22nd, of 2009, I gave 20% of my liver to my six-month-old daughter. The surgery was about eight hours long and was completely successful. She started changing color immediately and acting like she felt better. And when I finally got to see her about 24 hours later, she was pink and beautiful and just looked perfect. Nearly a year later, Ellie is a happy, healthy, little girl doing normal little girl things but our lives are changed forever now we're a transplant family and we'll always be dealing with this but throughout this experience God really showed me how important prayer was I don't think I ever felt as close to him as when I was just in constant conversation every day with him you know, the doctors told us that her recovery was remarkable and the only answer we had for them was there are lots of people praying for her. And I know, looking at my daughter, that our breath wasn't wasted, our prayers weren't wasted.